Hey folks, let's do a little more strategery today. I have a few videos in the backlog that I need to get uploaded. Uh, I think YouTube currently is on like episode 12 and I'm on episode 19, so gotta get those set up for you guys. Um, I've had some more graphics card <laughs> issues lately. This is the replacement PC, the $5,000 replacement PC for the last $5,000 PC that had a motherboard issue just out of the box and died within 20 days. This one um, has been having GPU issues out of the box after 20 days. So um, if this one dies again in the same manner, uh, we're going to have to go with a different <clears throat> company. I, I would love to just build the PC myself. I'm capable of building PCs myself just fine. I've worked for years in help desk and, and IT operations, but uh, I've, I've broken apart computers before. It's not difficult, but uh, it, it's hard to get a graphics card. Uh, I want like a 3080 or a 3090, and uh, this, this one I think is a 3080. No, no, no. This one is a 3090, so I want a really good GPU, but they're hard to get from anyone but pre-builds. So, um, it, at least... Not for a reasonable price. <clears throat> so last time, I believe we left off, uh, I was sending Zero 2.0 back uh, over to Charmuthus uh, to deal with supply line issues. We're, we're totally out of supplies in this region, and I, I think they were out before we even arrived. Yathrib has a little bit, but uh, Yathrib does have some supply production here, plus five per turn. It might be good enough to just send uh, Zero 2.0 back to Yathrib, and she might be able to hang out there. That'd be more strategically uh, better, I think, because I'm a little more worried about uh, these gentlemen from Himyar coming up uh, and giving us issues in Yathrib. My, my overall <laughs> notes on capturing this region, this region is a bastard and a half to capture, and it makes perfect sense, you know, with, with the fertility of the region, um, how difficult it is to, to get in and do stuff. Uh, I had similar issues. I have a, a Bactria campaign I'm just testing out to see if I maybe want to do a series on that. Um, which, by the way, if you have if you have opinions on whether or not you'd be interested in seeing a Bactria campaign, let me know. Because I am curious. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a little, a little phlegm today or something. Goodness. Uh, but uh, I had Harmosia, and I, I t took my Bactrian king and had to go kind of around to deal with them because they had a double stack defending the city of Muscat. And even then, it, it, I was so much better prepared as Bactria. I had built my campaign better. I built my buildings better. My population was better. My income was better. My war chest was better. Everything was better. But goddamn, this area still sucks. But unfortunately, uh, we, we do kind of have to deal with them because they, they, they have an important, uh, they're a threat to us. You know, I, d I don't want to be dealing with Rome eventually someday, you know, fighting this guy over in Italy. And, and then out of nowhere, here comes the, the fucking Mayin guys and they kick my ass while I'm dealing with that and I go broke. But hey, we're kind of going broke <laughs> as is. Um, I think with that in mind, let me do a little bit of merging. I'm going to merge those units. Uh, I don't want to merge these. See, I want units to replenish, but they can't replenish because there's no supplies. So, you know, what is best is, is the question. We have an okay army here. By the way, I think next series I do, I'll be using the 40 units mod. Uh, it's it's so much better, uh, just the strategy, I think, when you have larger larger stacks to deal with. Let's just end the turn. There's not much here to do. I've spent a good four minutes waffling. Also use the end turn uh, timer as a way to clear my throat. Blech. One sacrifice is needed. No. The altar of our Not interested. You cannot have your way with me. Siren, right? I need to. Uh, they're moving. I will be huh? honest. No, <laughs> that's not. That's not happening. You're next. I'm sorry. I, I know that's probably what you're trying to do. Gauge uh, whether or not I'm coming for you. And I am. What we got here. 
Plus five owning factions, cultural influence, 15% morale and owner out. Okay. 10% wealth from culture, four growth per turn. Uh, I would like that cultural conversion, please. That's awesome. That is good. We need to uh, convert the culture in these regions as soon as humanly possible, which is why I'm doing stuff like building double temples, which is usually ill-advised for, for your income. But 1.8% uh, uh, cultural conversion per turn is not terrible. We are culture dominant in most of our regions now. Uh, hopefully that is translating to decent-ish growth. Yeah, 91 warriors per turn is okay. It's not great. We're getting 179 warriors per turn in Jerusalem. Why is Jerusalem getting so much better growth? 2.41% uh, in Alexandria. Mostly overcrowding is the issue. Lots of commoners. Less commoners. Lots less commoners. Okay. Um, okay, it's because they had the, the they were already Egyptian, so they had a lot of commoners instead of foreigners, so they're growing fat. That doesn't make sense to me, but okay. At your command. The population script is limited in, in many ways. Um I'm going to merge these cataphracts out. I don't think having two units of nearly dead cataphracts is helping anyone. And, geez, so we're going to go over here. What kind of supplies do they have? 200, 281. Okay, so we won't consistently die <laughs> in the region. That's good. Do we have deserts to worry about? Oh, no, I've entered their lands without a without a treaty. Oh, say it ain't so. I'm kind of thinking uh, of having Ozalsius go down here to deal with this army. Uh, it's a, it looks it looks competent actually. Uh, I see some some Sabaean nobles. Those guys are pretty damn tough. They're uh, they're medium heavy spearmen. Yeah, they're heavy spearmen. Thirty armor is heavy in in this uh, version of Davidia Tempera. And they're archers. And they're anti cab. Against the heavy infantry of the Hellenians, it says. Able to hold the line. So they're archers that are also... You can't hit them with cavalry. And also, you can't really hit them with infantry. They're, they're almost like pikes. They're so, they're so difficult, um, comparatively speaking, to other factions. The easiest way to kill them, I found, is, as Bactria, is to uh, kill everyone else except them. And have them rout. Where are my spies, by the way? It's been a while. I only have one spy? That's stupid. I need more spies. What am I doing? Swift and silent. Jesus, five nobles. Okay. Decent amount of auxiliaries. A couple extra archers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve missile units in their army. I mean, am I really one to talk? Probably not. Okay. Let's move Arakamani out as well. Uh, they're gonna have to hit this place at the same time. There's, there's no other way we're gonna, we're gonna win over there. And it's still gonna be a very bloody battle, I think. Uh, uh, this is definitely gonna be not easy. Azalsis, I think you can handle that. Really depends on what they have exactly, but. The hoplites should be able to absorb a lot of the missile fire. Uh, my, my Nasi Weir are. They're decent. They're not incredible, though. They do have ambush, so... Uh, I think they'll be able to, to, to beat this, but we do need to take care of this army because uh, I can't deal with this army and this army and this garrison all at the same time. It's a little too much even for me. Um, and yeah, you're going to continue going back to Yathrib, 0.2.0. That's really the best option I have for you that I can think of right now. We're still, of course, losing uh, lots and lots of uh, food per turn. Um, I'm not sure if this guy is technically... I think he's technically in his own lands. Supplied by Strategic Depot and Adjacent Region. I do need to start building depots uh, for supply lines. Um, I've noticed this, this version, or maybe even since last version... Damn it. I mean, always check these stupid administrators. They always stop doing their jobs. For no reason. I don't know why they do that. Anyways, uh, I, I've noticed that supply matters so much more in this last couple of versions of Divideia Tempera just because there's there's just... You just die a lot from not having food. 
It is a thing. Of course, I believe the AI doesn't have to deal with that unless you are dealing with it currently. One sacrifice. No, I'm not paying you money for a non-aggression pact. Leave me alone. Am I friendly with the Indians? I don't think I am. I think they're like tolerant of me just barely. They don't have any like NA NAPs or defensive alliances with uh, the mascot, do they? What? What's this? Okay. For noble? Really? Uh. Ugh, minus four wealth. Um. Uh. Look, look. You you can be safe, but I'm not gonna get involved in your power struggle. I I just can't. I'm sorry. Okay, we have a trade agreement with the Marians. Um, they don't have anything particularly important with Mascot. I don't think. Can we get an NAP with you guys? I really don't. Oh, we do have an NAP. Hoping to hear wisdom and okay. They just have issues with cultural expansionism and stuff. Uh, I will actually give them some money. Here, we'll give we'll give them a small gift. There, love me. Don't fucking attack me. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, summer region attrition. This region does not offer no. Yeah, whatever. D d does having the baggage train close count? Did I already lose troops from this? Doesn't doesn't count. Doesn't matter that I have a baggage train literally right next to you. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just lose the troops. What the fuck ever. The um, I do I do find these supply mechanics to be frustrating though. I think I've made that pretty clear. It's 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 uh. They can be aggravating. Let's see. I wonder if we can get uh this army to attack Zira. Even though Zira's kind of weakened in a few ways, I feel like she's still competent enough to to handle this force. It's definitely at a handicap, but I think we can beat them if they come out and attack into us. Okay, Hagar, what was I planning on building here? A supply bit? I could see it. I think I should, actually, for several reasons. Uh, get a baggage train recruitment for this entire big-ass province and be able to supply all these regions for any military actions remaining. I imagine it's going to take more than six turns to capture the remainder of this region. Um, we have an opportunity here to attack this army. I'm actually going to move close. And I'm just going to fortify. And we will attack them all on the same turn. Okay. Zero two point oh moving over here to E three, but hopefully is within their supply region now. Should be. She should be able to replenish it. Okay. My elephants are pretty banged up, which sucks. That's okay. Arakamani's army is mostly in good uh good good condition. I think I want another spy. Yeah, let's let's get another spy. By the way, do I have any slots? No. Okay. What have we got here? Uh, no. Boring traits. Eh. One plus food stolen from a local. I mean, food is valuable, I guess. These are not particularly good spies. I guess this one is fine. You can go ahead and move down there. Let me look through my buildings real, real quick. Just have a look around. Do I need to upgrade anything immediately? Uh, minus four public order and squalor. Can you guys handle that? Kind of. Kind of. I wonder if I need... Do I have techs for public order already? No. I need some of these techs for public order so I can feel a little more comfortable about upgrading some of these buildings. Okay. We have a lot of happiness stuff over here in uh, Alexandria. But they're only plus 18 happiness per turn, so it's really not that good. I'm, I'm very much so a, a public order focused player. I don't like to... I don't like to have unhappy people. So why did I build a Shrine of Amon here and I'm building a Royal Sanctuary here? What is the purpose of the Shrine of Amon? Versus the Royal Sanctuary. I'm pretty sure I found this out last 
time I was playing, but I have forgotten. Plus one rank for spies. Plus five percent wealth for commerce. Oh, oh, that 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 explains it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I vaguely recalled that I had built the wrong buildings, but I didn't remember why. Anything important here? Nope. The people of Arabia Magna are motivated. Yay, they're so happy. Oh shit, well, if <laughs> someone had an unassigned skill, I did not care. Whoops. Will you not give up? No, I don't care about a non-aggression pact with the, the fucking Scottish or British or whatever. What? Spirits have no, no! Are you guys crazy? I barely know you. No! Leave me alone! This is the disadvantage of discovering all the factions to trade with them. <sighs> what? Yeah, I'll prepare, of course. Why would I not prepare? Why would why would I ever pick do nothing? Yeah, everyone's losing people. <laughs> 299 people because you, you couldn't use your your husband's uh, fucking baggage train. <sighs> okay. This is tough. This is a lot. Arakamani, can you reach? Oh, Arakamani can't freaking reach this turn. Damn it. Okay. Uh, um, how close can you get? Okay, fortify here. Or okay, you can't fortify. You used all your movement. That's fine. At your service. Okay, they did move this army. That's why. That's why I wanted to spy. Kind of want to look into, really both regions. I want eyes on Marie because so I know what kind of defenses it has. It's probably going to be a bitch to take it. I have found out recently that one of my uh, uh, one of my understandings of sieges was kind of wrong. Uh, archers can clear walls pretty pretty surprisingly effectively, all things considered. Uh, I didn't expect them to be able to kill javelins and other archers on the walls, but in my Bactria campaign, they've been doing a decent job of it, and they're not even nearly as upgraded as the ones I have in this campaign. Let's give you skills and stuff. Really don't care too much about what you have, to be honest, but... Damn, do we have all those good skills on, on you? Zeal? Why do I have you with zeal? There you go. Get two cunning. Tons of cunning. If we get enough cunning, he'll actually be useful. Spies are... Agents are freaking useless in this mod until you, uh get them like completely leveled up they're not gonna successfully poison a whole army they never do they can successfully poison one guy by himself one general of course you go the other way around no <laughs> you go you go the other way around and make agents too powerful and then the AI constantly spams not shut up Shut up! Leave me alone! <laughs> they, they, uh, they'll constantly... Oh my god. Bruh. And the thing is, if I, if I just pay them... Okay, cool. If I just pay them for the, uh, non-aggression packs, they'll just start offering me defensive alliances and military alliances every turn instead. It doesn't, doesn't make it any better, giving in to their demands. Don't appease them. Let's start getting, uh... So I started putting these levels on my characters when, honestly, I should have just been using these. They're kind of better. I mean, the morale in foreign territory is good. Honestly, both are good. But this is really good. I mean, 15% and then I can get another 15% off a of proven leader uh, for 30% campaign map movement range. And I can also uh, often get a skill here, a retinue here, Wow. Wait, wh where'd it go? Was there not an option for plus two, plus percent to uh, shots per minute? Because I swore I just saw that. 
and then I clicked it and it changed into something else. Am I crazy? I saw that, right? <laughs> the fuck? Okay, whatever. Um. Anyways. Completely lost my train of thought due to that. The, usually there's a there's often a, a retinue here you can get that uh, adds plus eight percent to movement range. I wouldn't be surprised if a Rakamani has it. Seems like I just don't I didn't get it in this campaign at all. We we really didn't get great retinue in this campaign in general, if I'm being honest. Highly unfortunate. Okay, so that does put us at war with Himyar. Okay. Alright, Arakamani, we're gonna need support here. Alright, this is probably gonna be a long video. This this battle's gonna take more than ten minutes for for sure. Very glad they decided to stay in their uh, in their camp, in their town. That will make things much easier. Uh, trying to fight all this cavalry on the field would have been uh, would have been rough. Archers uh, often have uh, debuffs to damage they do to cavalry. No fog. Dry is fine. Oh, by the way, I also I, I adjusted the color grading a little bit more. Um, game should be a little brighter. Uh, it's part of the, part of the issue of uh, the just just YouTube is that it it makes videos a little darker than the recording actually is. It's uh, just a problem that YouTube has when it encodes videos. Just just like the fact that I'm having to record upscaled into 1440p just to avoid pixelation in a 1080p video that has no pixelation. If you see pixelation on my videos, the recording does not have pixelation. That's YouTube's fault. It's completely YouTube. Really fucking annoying uh, how many tricks you have to do to get the better quality encoder. I, I think it's a popularity thing. Uh, my, my, like... My videos with the highest views on YouTube, they all have the good encoder. And my lower popularity videos, my, my regular fare, if you were, if you would. Um, those videos all have shitty encoders and all look like shit. And it's not me. I'm not, I'm not doing anything with a lot of those videos. So. Anyway. So I'm a little worried about getting rushed by Cav at the beginning here. Uh... We'll we'll see how that how that ends up. I like the look of these guys. Lots of cloth cloth armor. A little worried about those archers getting rushed, so let's immediately put up uh infantry to support. Rakamani's gonna come in from the west. Otherwise, this battle should be very much by the numbers. Uh, we're gonna try to wear them out as much as possible. Oh, did I even mention we we got the original Rome Total War music on? I don't think I had that mod on last time I was playing. Might be wrong though. It's been it's been a couple weeks. Wow, my archers actually have shots all the way from there. That's insane. Uh, what do I want you to fire at here? Tribe, definitely not tribesmen, but uh. Are these the Sabaean nobles? Yeah, kill those Sabaean nobles like yesterday, please. We uh we just outright we we outrange their archers by a ridiculous degree. So uh, as many of them as we can kill before making contact, that would be very ideal for us. Okay, I need to organize all this crap too. You know, I, I don't dislike Rome 2's actual music by uh, Richard Bedow, but uh, it's hard to deny that the music in Rome 1 was just more exciting. Had more oomph, more percussion, more brass. Did I not group up my other elephants here? Apparently not. You guys need to be in the same group. How are we doing? I wish you guys had more shots. Okay, you killed those. Good job. No, don't stop those. They need to keep moving. It's so hard for me to organize when I have multiple uh, units of the same type split up into different segments. Yeah, y'all can be over here. 
So what else would I want to target in here? Arabian archers, those would be a, a good target. I'm looking for, yeah, the Sabaean nobles that are also archers, they're gonna be, they're gonna look like that. Okay. You got some boats landing, not really too important. Ah, they're moving around. Probably just shuffling. Probably just doing a shuffle. Let us move up a little though, just to be safe. They, they could choose to rush us, and it kind of looks like they are choosing to rush us, doesn't it? All right, go for Cav first if they're going to rush. Yeah, they must know we're, we're coming from the west, so they've, they've decided to do a push. Okay, that means we're, we're going to have a lot coming at our lines. Let's get my elephants in the back lines, because that's probably where they're going to be most useful for this. Uh, I'm probably just going to need to bash through my own lines with elephants to do some routes. Okay, more more cav. Always target the cav because they're they're the threat to your archer, they're the threat to flank. No one else is gonna actually flank you properly. It's only gonna be those uh cav that flank, so everyone else is just gonna suicide charge your lines. My uh, archer's failing to to skirmish quickly enough there. But my uh I've got uh projectile trails turned off. I actually need those for this. Okay. Light spear infantry, very light melee infantry. There's some horsemen. I need to kill those now. My infantry there did a good job of using their javelins to ward off that cav. Happy to see it. Happy to see it. Okay, you guys need to get much closer than this, I think. Probably about here would be good. And then my other infantry. You guys probably need to just reinforce outright. Come up there. Okay, that's gonna push my archers back. Let's get them back here to safety. We'll turn off skirmish because they won't need it now. Start getting some charges in. My archers did not get away in time there for the from those horsemen. That is usually how that goes. And we need to get these archers back as quickly as possible. Target these cav, missile cav. I need to watch those and make sure they don't uh, chase these guys off the map. Okay, archers are almost here. Very quick they are. What kind of range do they have? They already are in range. Insane. Insane. 235 range. Good God in heaven. Amazing. Kill those. Kill those horsemen, please. Archers are almost out of ammo, so they're kind of... I'm just going to let them fire at will from here, I think. Yep. Ooh. Mm, half of the unit dead in one volley. Good shit, good shit. Okay, you can push up a little further now. You've done the damage you need to do. Okay. I need more forces to push a little bit better. What are they doing? Are they charging? Apparently. That's a foolish. Those are not going to be strong enough. I'm not worried too much about flanking and stuff right now. They, they have too much of a mass here for me to really kill them just by uh, surrounding them. But we should start a little bit of that. I'm worried about the center here. These guys are going to go down pretty damn damn quick. Okay, I don't, don't fire at will. I, I need you to fire where I need you to fire. Your ammunition is precious. I should kill that. Okay, do you have full sight? Uh, let's move you a little bit closer. However, my uh, my swordsmen are uh, finding success, I think. You know, this this unit's definitely going down, but but the rest of them have been doing okay, I think. Okay, here's my other infantry coming. I think I need to turn my graphics down from extreme to ultra for recording. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of frame draw, not much. This is this is like on extreme. This is as high as the graphics go, so you can enjoy the the camels that look very strange the way they ride those. Okay, three, kill this please. One volley should be all it takes. Boom, that'll do it. Look at that. Oh, so good. Okay, there you go. Those are those uh, Sabaean nobles. Need to finish those. How are these doing? Not as well as I would like. 
Where's my, uh, where's Zira? I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of holding people far back in the back lines because I'm scared of them getting shot. These uh, nobles are no joke. My archers are insanely better than them though, which is nice. All right, let's stretch like this because then these three can uh, kind of support the middle here. This, uh, this front we've got going. We knew we would take casualties in this. Uh, it was unavoidable, so we're, we're doing fine. I'm pretty happy with the way the battle is progressing thus far. Um, I'm looking for more, more nobles. I see one in the back here, but I don't think they're in a good spot to shoot. So we'll uh, we'll target those instead. Just regular archers. Considering how fast we melt the nobles, this should be very quick. I'm sure we're killing other other units there too. Let's give our infantry a minute for their uh, javelins to go off. You can see them going off now. Getting a lot of routes. And uh, let's let's seal off this left flank a little better now. Now that we have so many forces here. And now we can start supporting our beleaguered middle here. Used a lot of ammunition. These guys don't seem to have like too much ammunition compared to some other units. But they also just fire really fast, I guess. So they might actually have a lot compared. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like much because they run out so fast. There you go. There's a good target. Some more nobles fighting in here. Not even getting to use their, their, their bows. Here comes the volley. Ah, that didn't look as impressive as I was hoping. Mm. They must be uh, spread out a lot. Okay, that'll that'll take care of those. And let's move forward and kill the other nobles. High value targets only. Shouldn't need much else. Unfortunate that. These are pirates. Yeah, okay. Have a few shots to lay into them. This unit's in pretty bad shape, uh, being kind of by itself over here. Let's pull this swordsman back here. And let's make sure we're actually pushing in, because a lot of these units are actually not engaged. Just push, push where you can. Looks like these guys are getting decent kills, though. We haven't really had too much time to test them, but 293, yeah, 353... Okay, yeah, I did not need those noble those noble swordsmen. These are doing just fine on their own. Let's uh, see. Let's see. If, can we get an angle on those nobles on the in the back here? Looks like we sure can. Let's see if the house absorbs it. Nope. Yeah, those will those will go down in a few volleys. That'll probably pretty much use up uh, the rest of my ammunition on the uh, on my noble archers. That's okay. Let's, let's, let's get my cavalry over to the right flank where all this is going on. Go ahead and be on skirmish. Uh, let them let them chase you around. You're faster than they are. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we pretty much got it now. Didn't do too badly. Didn't do too badly. I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Yep. There go the nobles. Yeah, about 100 kills. A pop on each archer unit. Not bad. Not bad. I've seen better. There's army losses penalty. We win. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. We, we lost a lot of nobles here. Could have been could have been better on this one, but uh, yeah. Okay. That really did only take like 10 minutes. Nice. 380 losses against a numerically superior force. I'm pretty happy with it. That wasn't bad. 510 kills on these swords. Mmm. Game over, yeah. Look, the nobles. Y you can tell the nobles are potent by the fact that they got any kills at all, considering how much I was shooting the hell out of them. Some of the auxiliaries here got a few kills here and there. Mm. By the way, the, the load times are a little faster, both uh, because of the new computer and also because I'm using the... Uh, Look how much faster that is. You guys have sat with me through loading screens before. You know how long they take, like what, three to five minutes per? Uh, these are uh, better, both because of the new computer and also because I'm using the uh, the t Total War Center, like the actual file 
that the Davidia Tempera guys created versus the Steam Workshop version. It goes right to the data folder, and from what I've heard, uh, it is faster for load times. Waiting for more orders. And from what we're seeing. Goodbye. I'm sure that boat will be back to raid us for all time pretty soon. All right, and that, that put us up an Imperium level. Good, good, good. Uh, we have a little food in this region. No, it's already almost all gone. <laughs> we were here for three months, and now it's all gone. I mean, fair enough, right? Looking at the lay of the land. Let's also give you some more movement now. Arakamani's about about leveled out. I don't even know if he gets another level after this. He might not. But if I had to spend it on anything, spending it on additional movement on the campaign map is never bad. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to have to fend off this army now. That means Ozalsi's here. He might be more instrumental in the siege of Marib. We could definitely use reinforcements there. You can see uh, Himyar is now looking at our borders again, but I don't think they can go through. They, they, they're not going to be able to blow through both the garrison and uh, Zira at Yathrib, so I'm not really worried about that. If they want to attack that way, they can. If they choose to come up here on the western coast, uh, Zira should be able to move to counter without any major issue. Don't raid my own settlement. <laughs> you can patrol. Calm down. Arakamani is no worse for wear at all. I don't I don't know if he took any casualties. I'm I'm assuming some of these swordsmen got killed, but not many. And uh these are well they're not great. They're not in good condition, but they are functional. Okay. Let's move out of mascot to not piss them off. Let's uh break down this military shit here. I don't want it. Uh I would prefer food production, I think, here. I don't really see any reason to worry about anything else. I don't think these produce... I mean, what is this, lead? Yeah, whatever. I don't think lead's that valuable. What do you produce here? Spices? Spices are valuable. I could build up some trade stuff for that, I guess. Um, and what do you produce? Trained slaves. Oh, shit. Okay, that's actually pretty darn valuable. Okay, so this, this area might be more of a uh, commercial district then. Okay. Well, well, we'll build it a little bit for that. We might build it with, uh, maybe do food here for this lead, is what I'm thinking. I think so. We'll, we'll, we'll focus food on mascot, um, and we'll do, we'll do food, probably temple for conversion, and more food. And then for Marie, we'll probably do, uh, a spice building and another temple, probably. And then for you, Damon, we'll probably do pretty much the same sort of shit. Just a uh, train slave building. Yeah. Okay. And and then maybe food or temple or just general happiness building, depending on how we are, how we're doing. Uh, I'm not really worried about these. By the time these make it over to me, what, it's going to take like two, three more turns? It, it takes forever to move in this region. They're going to be mostly dead by the time they reach me. Um... I'm thinking I'll probably leave Zira here and I'll have Arakamani go ahead for the Siege of Marib. That's what I'm thinking. And I think I'll have Ozalsis uh, assist us with that siege. In the meantime, let's make sure also we're not taxing Moscow. We don't need to. And we can also have some family member here. Let's have you. No. Who, who do I have that's not currently a general? Royal Court. Royal Court fucking hates me. Stop. I have time for that shit, man. He's a pacifist. He's a populist. He hates Greeks. My, my fucking political traits are awful for my parties. Look, get married. <laughs> Maybe if you can get laid, you will shut up. But uh, do some public games. Make people happy. Uh, that'll reduce the, the loss of public order we have here. Make it a little bit more manageable to take this province. Something I pretty much do in every province now, that, you know, in any campaign where I have cash. Okay. I think that's all we have for today, folks. Uh, hitting about 40 minutes here. Next video, hopefully we can do Marib and Udaemon, but uh, 
man, I will be glad to be done with this peninsula and on to greater and better things. Until then, see you next time.